Welcome back everyone. So, today's the last day. We're gonna fly out to Australia tomorrow. So, we've got loads of jobs to do. So, let's get cracking. I need to take some tools with me to do the van and this is the bag that I thought we'd use so I'm allowed 30 kilos but I've got to try and get everything I want in this bag so let's give it a go I don't think they're going to fit. So, I think I've got everything I need now. So, I've gone from some pliers, some sockets, I didn't know whether to take some three quarter gear or not, but Spanners, drill bits. I want to take more, but like I say, I've only got that to work with. See if it fits in. So the good news is it all fits in, but there's loads more stuff I want to take really, like all the cordless gear, I'm going to have to buy that when we're over there, but um, yeah, I can only take what I can take, like I say, 30 kilos, it's just that they don't lose it on the way there. So as you already know, we are off to Australia tomorrow. And to be able to do that, John and I have quit our jobs. We are officially unemployed. Um, and it was actually a much harder decision to make than you might think, because John and I both really loved our jobs and I really loved the people that I worked with. But we decided that we wanted to make the most of this opportunity that we've got to go and travel and to see the world. So that was the decision that needed to be made and we're hoping that it'll be worth it.
morning, everyone. Good morning. We're, um, we're through checkout and on our way to wait for hours uh, before we can board. But um, we were laughing on our way through the security check this morning because uh, John, John had an interesting story, didn't you, yeah, darling? Well, um, when I was about 15, I was going to America, going to Florida, and my mum and dad were in the family. And um, we went through the baggage and uh, they found something in my bag. So they looked at it and it was a tyre pressure gauge and a tyre depth gauge. And they said, what you got this for? And I said, well, in case the aeroplane needs a tyre pressure check-in. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, my mum was mortified. But, uh, but yeah, but now it was a sad day this morning. Um, we're quite close to our niece and nephews. And um, my mum sent me a, a message last night. I woke up to it this morning. My little niece said that um, she's, her heart's broken because we're going away and we won't be back until she's much older. Breaks so, my heart. Yeah, so this one's for you, Ray. We'll see you soon. Love you, darling. <laughs> uh, most of you lot won't be able to relate to this one, but uh, this is how we fly. Just kidding. Rob and Bastards charged us five quid just to get dropped off this morning. And the emission zone. Oh, and £12.50 for an emission zone. safely in Australia and as you can see by our ridiculous tourist sunburns we've been down the beach this morning <laughs> yeah, a bit pink already but uh, but yeah if anyone wants to come to Australia and think about doing it I'd recommend the, we did the Dreamliner so no stops but brilliant so yeah if, if you ever want to come here definitely do that it's still a bloody long flight yeah 17 so hours much better. so but uh, yeah no sleep I've got half hour sleep so it was a bit yeah. um yeah we had a bit of jet lag sorry so. if we look a bit ropey today yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so if anybody doesn't know, um, we're coming here, we're going to stay here for three months and uh, we're going to convert a van and then go off travelling. Yeah. Uh, but we're just going to do WA probably, I don't know yet. Um, we'll see as we go, we've got no plans really. Um, if anybody doesn't know as well, Jess is Australian, lived here all her life until she met me and uh, I lived here for four years. Uh, so yeah, we know a bit about Australia. Wait, and we lived in this area when we when we did live here. Yeah. So, so but uh, but yeah, we've done Exmouth and uh, at the top of WA, but we're probably going to go down the bottom. Yeah, we're going to go do the southwest. Yeah, like, do a bit of a circle route down there, yeah. and hopefully back through the gold fields and stuff. So yeah, that yeah. should be wicked. And we're hoping it will take us about a month to do the van. So you guys all know as much as us how long that takes. Yeah. So, so two months travelling. So but yeah, have a look at the van. Yeah. So it's a total high ace. Um, D4D motor in it. Um, it's a commuter, wasn't it? Commuter bus. Yeah, yeah, highest commuter. So it's, uh, it was used as a um, uh, tradesman van, so it's a bit ropey, but like right, mechanically it's sound. Off, uh, Steve, Jess is one of Jess's friends. Thanks, Steve. He uh, went and looked at it for us. So um, yeah, mechanically it's all sound, but uh, but yeah. So I'm going to stick some rims on it. Probably some all-terrain tyres. Uh, I'm probably going to put an e-locker diff in the back, um, just so we can get a bit more off-road the beaten track. Yeah. Not full four wheel drive, but no. it just gives us a few more options, doesn't it? It came with a roof rack and uh, some roof bars, so at least it's a good start. And um, yeah, in the back, it's a bit, uh, a bit rough. But She's had some good use. Yeah, it's all coming out anyway, so it don't really matter, like I say, no. as long as mechanically it's sound. Hopefully yeah. she'll look a little, a little bit prettier as time goes on. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, it came with awning on it as well. So, 
<laughs> yeah, stoked about that. Yeah. We pulled it out yesterday as well and um, it's, it's a beauty. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, we're hoping to put video out every week so you can see what we're up to. And obviously the next one will contain the first part of our van build or should I say van demolition. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what you'd call it, ripping out. But the worst thing is, is like, coming, obviously we lived here for a bit, but finding out where things are again, like where to get materials from and everything like that, it's just, uh, that's going to take a while. Yeah. So, yeah, and then, yeah, get cracking. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah thanks for watching yeah. and uh, we'll see you next week. See ya. You driving? Yeah, boy. Oh, my God.